Hi everyone. As we witness the recent upheaval in Bangladesh, it's clear that the political landscape in our neighboring country has taken a dramatic turn. The ongoing events offer critical lessons not just for Bangladesh but for India and the broader region. On August 5, 2024, in a tone of events of Bangladesh turbulent history, Sheikh Hasina was outed in a military coup. Given just 45 minutes to leave the country, Sheikh Hasina's departure marked a significant shift in Bangladesh political narrative, coinciding with a symbolic date, the anniversary of India's Article 370 abrogation in Jammu and Kashmir. This COP is a part of a long history of military interventions in Bangladesh, a pattern that has often destabilized the nation. In the wake of this COP, Nobel laureate Mohammad Yunus was installed as the head of an interim government, a move overseen by the military. The conspicuous absence of the league leaders at the Yunus oath ceremony underscored the drastic shift in power. Despite the international condemnation particularly from the United Nations the violence against minorities continues with limited effective action to protect them ahead the unrest in Bangladesh possesses a significant concerns for India our country is not only share a border but also deep economic and cultural ties the instability next to raises questions about our democratic resilience There's also the looming threat of increased illegal immigration into India as people flee the influence and the violence. So economically, this is aligned to the institutional economics. Did you all know about this? Institutional economics focuses on the role of institutions, both formal and informal, in shaping the economic behavior. This theory argues that the economic performance is heavily influenced by the quality and structure of a country's institution. The scenario in Bangladesh reflects a situation where weak political and economic institutions fail to provide stability and predictability which are necessary for economic growth. The COP explained above illustrates how fragile institution can lead to power struggles that disrupts the economic activity. Thus India should care over the spilling effect. What does this mean? It means potential illegal immigration, threat to our border and the fragility of the democracy in our own backyard. Is this what means for the spilling effect? This crisis is a reminder that democracy is fragile even in our own region. So we need to stay informed and stay prepared. Hope you like the video. Let's unlock together your full potential and achieve remarkable success in the world of business. If you are new to the channel, do like, share and subscribe for more such content related to business and finance. Till then, goodbye everyone.